Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel DIY with Mini John. I am Nishant and this is my basement workshop. In today's video, I will show you 5 tips to achieve engraving results that you thought were impossible to achieve on a compact laser like this. For tip number 1, I will show you how to quickly set up the machine's height for engraving a solid flat object like this. I will show you how I customize the products with names and logos that I make and sell through my website. These are measuring tapes that I said I often get requests to engrave a name or some sort of logo on the surface. Now as you are aware that this machine does not have a z-axis. It's actually designed to engrave on paper thin surfaces. To engrave something that's about an inch thick, you have to loosen this screw and move the laser head up. But that also will not go up to an inch. It will go up to 12 or 15 mm at most. So to achieve this result, the easiest way that I have found if you have a bulk of products that are of similar depth, what you can do is simply take four of the spare products and just put one below each of the foot of the machine. Now make sure that it's stable after you have done it and there is no vibration in the machine. If your products are really small then don't try this. Now when I start engraving the machine will show me the outline of engraving and I can make some minor adjustments after that. For the second tip when I engrave text on this measuring tape I want my engraving to be parallel to the metal tape. When the tape is rolled in, it's really difficult to set up. To do that, we will use a very simple trick. I will just pull out the tape and approximately create a parallel line. And that way, I can engrave my text right along the edge of this tape. I can also do that with a pencil marking but a pencil marking is really difficult to see under the red laser safety cover. I will now use the tape as a reference to set up my workpiece. Now the engraving outline runs parallel to the tape. I will start engraving. For the third tip, I will show you how to engrave handles or similar shaped objects. It will happen very often that you will have a handle type object that you want to engrave a name or a logo on. Now it's very difficult to engrave something in this direction. The maximum that you can go about a curvature is a depth of around 3 to 5 mm at most because after that the laser will begin to give a very burned out line. Now to fix it in one place and to level it out, I will use this. This is just a non-drying clay. Make sure not to use any oil based clay as it might leave marks on your product. To make the setting easier, I have used a secondary base so that I can move it around without having to move the clay. Put two bundles of clay on each side and press it until I have an approximate flat surface on top. I'll start engraving now. Now the fourth tip. This is another one of my products that I sell through my website. Now if I have to engrave a logo over here, I just have to remove the switches and I can do that. But if I have to engrave something along the side, then it poses a problem because this height is too much for the laser engraver to keep on some temporary supports. To engrave that surface, I will show you a small quick to make setup. This is the setup that I have made for engraving sides. It's just a block of pine that I have clamped to my table surface 
and now I can clamp another piece, the, my work piece, to this block of pine using two clamps. And then I can just keep my laser machine on the edge and make sure that the engraving area coincides with the location of this block. Now the fifth and last tip of this video, if you are engraving something and you are getting a lot of smoke or burnout along the edges, you can simply put a piece of masking tape and then after the engraving you can simply remove the tape and it will take off most of the smoke with it. Thank you for watching, I hope the video was helpful to you and you got some tips and tricks that you can utilize in your own workshop. If you like the video then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll keep posting more DIY content.